not only the United States that's showing a long-term trend of declining nominal GDP growth. Most of the developed economies are showing declining secular economic growth trends as well. Europe and Japan in particular have seen much sharper deteriorations in nominal growth compared to the United States. China is also showing declining growth, but I kept them out of this uh, conversation because I feel that their data is not uh, comparable and it requires its own separate discussion. But with that said, China is also showing a declining secular trend. So the countries that comprise the bulk of global GDP are all slowing in terms of nominal GDP. Same chart, if I include India, on the other hand, it's showing a strong secular growth trend. Again, this is nominal growth, and this is a long-term 20-year uh, growth rate. Um, so there are two things to note. First is that India's growth rate is clearly much higher than everybody else, 8% compared to 3% or zero. But also, from, from the earlier slides, the direction is also trending higher, or at least it's been stable for the past 10 years. So those are two distinct differences, is one, the growth rate is significantly higher, and two, the direction is different. So the declining rate of population growth is not unique to the United States. In fact, uh, the United States is better off demographically than Europe and Japan, which is a major reason why the U.S. economy has been able to maintain higher growth rates than Europe and Japan. Uh, India has much higher population growth than the advanced economies, and it's likely to stay that way for at least the next few decades. An extremely important slide, in my opinion, this is what is called the age dependency ratio. So what this measures is how much of a burden is there on the prime working age population. The higher the number, the greater the drag on productivity there will likely to be as the prime age working population, those people 15 to 64, have a greater number of older and younger dependents to support. So this chart plots the, the current uh, ratio in 2020 and the expected ratio uh, a decade in the future in 2030. Japan, graphed uh, in purple, is going to face uh, an extremely difficult decade ahead as the dependency ratio is, is getting worse and it's already at pretty extreme levels. Japan had a very difficult decade over the last 10 years and it's likely to be even more difficult as their demographic situation has deteriorated even further. The United States, uh, Europe, and the United Kingdom are all basically in the same trend, facing declining population growth and worsening dependency ratios, which is going to further drag on potential growth in the future as most of the developed world, most of the countries that make up the bulk of global GDP are going to continue to support larger number of dependents. Uh, India, on the other hand, is much better off with a lower dependency ratio than most other countries, and it's also going to be declining over the next 30 years, which is quite unique in the, in the, uh, in the era of uh, aging populations across the world. So that's a very unique position.